Jensen's Let's go boarding. In last episode we we done the power plant and now we're fine at the final level, the Swimfield Gorge. And we took care of the the contest, because yeah, for being all ten contests, we unlocked Chief Wiggum, the last skater. Again, why is he on the skateboard? I don't fucking know. And yeah, as you notice, he doesn't seem to have any extra boards, despite me unlocked all the levels for him. So yeah, Chief Wiggum doesn't have any boards, he only has the one board. That's odd. Why is that? We'll explain later as we'll take a look at what the skill score chance is like and it's all about jumping the gorge. The first challenge is just jumping the gorge and the West challenges are jumping the gorge while doing specific tricks. <laughs> and yeah, it's a really giant jump. We need to get a lot of speed to do it. I don't know how you do this. I think I only managed to legally done it once. Well, I guess twice that you count that. But yeah, again, not doing it. There's no we need to. Away max on my stats. And I don't give a damn about the costumes. The costumes are just comedics, so yeah. Alright, Springfield Gore's time. And now we've got Sheep Herder, Rocky, Sons of Vertigo, and the usual. Let's do this. Again, the music sounds really eerie and mysterious. So why does Chief Wigan not have his own boards? Well, so because instead of boards, you get cheat codes for Chief Wigan. Yeah, this is how you you actually unlock cheat codes. So this, these cheat codes are got for just completing all the skate fests Wigan. So yeah. So honestly, there's, there's really no point to play for the tie games cheat wagon to get Chicas when they're all available on the internet now, so... Yeah. Also, the, I think even in 2002, I don't think that was poor because the unit was still a thing back in 2002 and all the Chicas were just been released on the internet anyway, so... Just, just why? And you can and you can still put in the cheat codes, codes even for your lock cheat wagon. So it's what were they thinking? So that's why I'm not doing the skill score since I can just show you all the costumes with the cheat codes. And besides, did you do 100% the game as a character? It doesn't give you the costume; it gives you the cheat code for the costume. So there. Anyways, got now I got to take now it's time to sh to hurry sheep in the pen, and this is definitely the hardest objective in the entire game. It's basically the sideshow male and the itchy and scratchy chop drop goals on freaking crack. We got two minutes and ten seconds to do this, and again you we really want to go very slowly while trying to load these sheep in. Alright, so scab out all the place, you went out of time, you gotta do it all over again. And there are three pens here. You think one's enough? Jeez. So you wanna make sure they all get get together and make sure they're all going straight for the pen. Otherwise, they'll scab all the place, you gotta do the whole fucking thing all over again. This sucks. This is a skating game. I wanna skate, not her sheep. God. They didn't even look like sheep anyway, they're just white polygons with smaller black polygons attached to it. Okay. And Lady only done this goal twice. Once it's Homer and once it's Chi Wigan. That's it. <sighs> Anyways, here's the last pen. Okay, make sure we don't scatter all the place. Heck. Most of we're trying to lower the pen, the sheep often get behind the pen and get stuck in the blight corner. And then after we do it all over again. This this go blows. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't have much time to do this, so you gotta power your ass up. There we go, get in the pen. You better stay in the pen, too. Okay. Yeah, what's up with this music? It's the only one piece of news in this game I really like. Oh, it's just weird and alien. There you go, only 11 seconds left to do. Only, no, only 11 seconds left. God. Fuck that goal. Fuck it. Just because of that. Yeah, I'm just gonna save. Okay. Luckily, everything else is easy compared to that, so. Now we gotta knock all 10 signs off the cliff. I recommend you start with these ones, because you fall in the water, you end up spawning back to the other side of the gorge. And be wary of some of these. These signs, can, for some reason, can knock you off the rail for some reason. Well, some do not. I, what? What's the inconsistency? Whatever. You have five on this side of the gorge, so gotta do that now. And it's where the skate layers start. I guess they one hour. Simpsons will lay worse to choose one, so they just just walky. Not not related to the boxer himself. Anyways, three, two, uh, one. Got an item. And there you go, we locked the secret area, which is on the other side of the gorge. Okay. And yeah, I deliberately reduced my stats so I could ease a ton look herding that frickin' sheep. Anyways, now I'm gonna take care of the final skate letters. This can be pain in the ass too, you don't know where they are and what you need to do. So there's the R. The O is behind this freaking bug. The E. want to slow down for it and jump for it. Because you're going for it, you just end up falling into the gorge and, and end up wooing Taiwan. And here's where the last two are. There's the case over there. And don't screw up this jump, and that's the why. We are now walky tastic. Woo. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take care of all the items. Here you have two right here. So let's take us all the way up here. Oh, there's a pathway that I want to take up there as well. They so want to go their, their way crouching slowly. Otherwise, you're just going to flow right off. So, now I'm going to grind these whales. Which I hope you got very good at jumping left and white. So obviously, or oh, you're screwed. And here's the first clock 10,000 points in 30 seconds. Getting pretty easy on Lee and Oval. Should not be a problem. Just grind, grind, grind. I mean, like the same for this entire LP. Okay. Get that last item, and now on the median items. Now grind as well, and should take you all the way up to the top of this structure here, where another clock is hiding. It just took me a wheel on one before I find this bloody clock. Nearly fell, but I think I might see myself somehow. Okay, 20,000 points in 60 seconds. Again, just lose this opal and we get tons of points easily. There we go. Don't fail. There we go. Only one more clock, and the last clock is in the secret area, so we'll get that get later. Okay, we'll go here, because now there's a mean out there. The shell badge. 
Well, cop bad. I don't know. It's a badge. Okay, next one is on this whale. Well, not exactly. Just go on this whale. Then jump to the left here. There you go. That's next me nine on. And for the last one, we're gonna go all the way here to this walk structure here. Okay, fall down here. Go on this whale. And this is where the uh, last show badge is. Now, you want to continue down here as it should lead you to two whales here because the two islands are there's one to the left there and there's one to the right there so let's go on this whale get this hard item and you want to go and probably ideally you want to go back then get that other item so right over here but you can also do it this way and we unlock the cheat code for permanent glow. Yeah, so it's Yeah, so like I said, instead of wars, Chiwigan gets cheat codes and we got the cheat code for permanent glow, which is basically the same effect you you get when you do a special trick really, so yeah, I'll show it off in the bonus episode, so yeah. So now I got all the items. Of course this is where the where the board would be, it'll be in this secret area, be in this uh, room or the room further down. I was like, we mean to do that, so yeah. So I guess instead of grabbing the board here, let's explore this secret area. And of course, here's where the last clock is 50,000 points in 90 seconds. Again, it's pretty easy, just keep constantly grinding this really long. Well, here and it should be easy as long as you don't bonk off the wall. Mm. You know, just grind to your heart's content. Well, don't do any flip tricks though, because Soyuz and Chiwigan can't seem to trade flip on the street because he's such a fat ass. Okay. I, go, I wanna go backwards. Can you please stop bailing? <sighs> hey, hopefully it should be enough to get the last clock. There we go. All the clocks are done. <sighs> so now probably need to do the last contest. Test let's Let's explore this secret area a bit since, since there's no boards for Chief Reckon to get. Let's see where there is. So if we go down here, here we have this giant grinder here or something, I don't know. So here we got this thing here, yeah, and that thing can make you instantly bail, so be careful with that, but. But if we go over here, Springfield Open Mine. Oh, we got something up here. We just continuously keep jumping up here, which will eventually we do. We'll find uh, Willie there, looking all weird. And yeah, it's where you can jump the gorge if you choose so. There's no reason to do this, but yeah, and yeah, that's definitely automatic. Unlike skill school, no, the game does a jump for you. So okay, there you go. That's every level done in entire game. The only thing left to do is the last contest. And there's everyone one only one group shot. Okay, yeah, 200,000 points. Sounds pretty hard? It isn't. Just again, do what you've been doing since the very beginning of the game. Just grind. Grind and grind. Get as many double bursts as you possibly can. That was terrible. Should have cut out, really. 
is grind, grind, grind. And if I just use shit, hit over 20,000 points. Again, you got this jump here every now and then, but if you can do that, then this is easy. And yeah. I know the Simpsons skateboarding is, well, complete. At least, near complete, anyway. <laughs> I refuse to use skill school challenges, I'm sorry, I'm not doing those. Also, you should beat all the contests, you will unlock Chi Wigan, but... If you do manage to complete, somehow complete, all the skill score challenges, all the skate fests, and all contests as one character, you will unlock an alternate costume for that. Well, a code for the ultimate costume, anyway. Which is kind of pointless since the codes are way on the internet, so basically where you get the costume from the beginning of the game to you know what the code is. So yeah, and uh, again, I don't even really get anything if you fully complete everything possible with all characters. Do you really get anything? I don't know. Well yeah, other than that, that's it for this game. I'm done with this game. I want a few people actually managed to beat this game. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. I'm bloody done. <sighs> I can't believe I actually, actually recorded all 10 episodes, one after you know. Did all these recordings on the exact same day, so I'm that insane. And yeah, you get way really nothing, because I didn't do all the skills good challenges. Well, f screw you again, I'm not doing your brutally difficult games. <laughs> brutally difficult your brutally difficult challenges. Nope, nope. Don't. So anyways, I'll show off free skate here for a moment. Since, since really, uh, you know, free skate. I might say that, but anyways. Next time on Let's Play.